So right wingers have been attacking this film, and I'm going to tell you what I think about it in a minute. But I mean, you go on uh, Rotten Tomatoes, and typically the reviewers are giving it like 88, 90 percent positive reviews, and the audience score is 3 percent. And the left is acting as if anybody who could attack this, what a, who would ever, why would any, oh my goodness, how could anybody ever see, oh my goodness. So, I mean, there's just, here's one, I, I can't remember where this one is from, It's but it says the creepy conservative obsession with Netflix cuties explained, and they think it's pornography, but by definition, pornography requires intent, which is nonsense. It may require intent to be a pornographer, but it doesn't require intent to create pornography. You can create pornography by accident. So this is reminiscent of Clockwork Orange, the film Clockwork Orange, which had scenes of hyperviolence. Even though it was opposed to hyperviolence, it glorified it and caused incidences of hyperviolence. And in Britain, they banned it. It's still banned, I think. You still can't show Clockwork Orange in the theater uh, in Britain because they said no matter what its intent, it causes these bad things to happen. So here's the thing. I'm not questioning the lady, the director's intent. I'm sure I'm sure from the film that she meant to put forward a vision of a feminist vision of what's wrong with society. I don't agree with that vision, but I, I think there's something wrong with society in which you have to choose between an oppressive patriarchy and no fathers whatsoever. That really is the choice that's being put forward. So she's trying to create a work of art and let's call it a work of art. And we're not going to say it's a great work of art, but let's call it a work of art. And it is a, a sad film. Uh, and I, I found it depressing, actually. You can commit a bad act while making art. That is simple logic. I could kill somebody and make art out of it, especially visual art. I could kill somebody on, I could torture and kill somebody on film and make it a work of art such that it did what art does. It addressed the human condition in ways that only, uh, narrative and metaphor can do, right? I could create, kill and torture somebody and say, yes, but my intent was to show, create a work of art in which you will be repelled by murder and torture. Fine. That's my intent, but I've still killed and tortured somebody. That's a bad act, an immoral act. This lady has committed an immoral act in making her work of art. It, these children who are the actresses have been forced into a pornographic situations, and there's simply no question that pedophiles looking at this are going to be turned on and enticed. There is just no question about it. I mean, I, I, I don't happen to have this problem and I have a, a real, uh, very powerful uh, emotional objection to children being abused. And so that's what's happening here. And the children are being abused, were abused in the making of this. If an animal were killed, if an, a dog had been shot in the making of this, you, you would be hearing it from the left as well. Okay. But because it's only children being sexually abused, they don't care. You know, this is, this is the thing. It's not that there is a conspiracy a, like to normalize the abuse of children. It is that in Hollywood, the abuse of children is rampant. And in our society, among the powerful, the abuse of children is rampant. And when people do what's wrong, they want to justify it. And one of the ways they justify it is by getting you to agree to it. And that is what is going on in a lot of these films. Now, that's not the intent of this filmmaker, but it becomes part of the intent. Listen, Corey Feldman came out Remember the who was a child actor? He came out and said, I was abused. My friend was abused. Everybody's being abused. But then and, and in Variety, there was an article saying a lot of people are sweating that Corey's going to name names. Suddenly, Corey was gone, didn't name any names. The story disappeared. Elijah Wood from the Lord of the Rings film came out and said, yes, this is happening all over. It is it is continually happening, then apologized for saying that and said, I don't know anything about this. That story disappeared. The defense of Roman Polanski by Harvey Weinstein, Woody Allen, and just about everybody when he was arrested in Switzerland, I believe it was. This is a guy who was convicted of sod drugging and sodomizing a 15-year-old girl, skipped the country so as not to have paid his dues, so he didn't have to pay for the guilty verdict. They're defending him. You know, uh, Victor Salva, the guy who made the uh, Jeepers Creepers films, convicted pedophile, 12 year old actor, he sexually abused. Brian Singer, who is a huge director, who is known to surround himself with vulnerable young boys and has been accused of everything from molesting them to rape. All of these people act with impunity and continue to get jobs in Hollywood because it is the norm. They, you know, so it's like 
QAnon, they make fun of QAnon, and QAnon is a nuts conspiracy. It's a crazy conspiracy, but that this is going on at high levels and that is being normalized and that people are working their way toward making it a, a um, toward making it a, a normal thing that is going to be accepted is just beyond question. And that this film plays into that, whether intentionally or not, is also beyond question. I don't believe it was the intent of this director to do that, but it is what happens in the film. It's a bad, she committed a bad act, just as if she had shot a dog or accidentally killed a dog while making a film. She committed a bad act in making this film. It should not be on the air. But again, but again, the answer is not for us to sit around pounding our palms with our fists. It's for us to be making better art. It is for us. To, you cannot you cannot win the culture critically. You can only win the culture creatively. That is what the culture is. The cu- culture is creation. We on the right do not create. We don't support creators. We don't uplift creators. And so they have the field. And this is the kind of ugly thing that's going to happen because there was no one there to tell this woman, you know what? Tell this story another way. I'm with you. I understand what you want to say. Tell it another way. Don't put little girls on screen. Don't have them doing this. So Again, not an intentional bad act, perhaps, certainly an actual work of art, but a bad action was committed in in making the work of art, and that's what should be condemned, and it should be condemned by everybody on the right and the left. 